Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Peekaboo West, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a pinwheel out of duct tape, and it's going to look something like this. So, I haven't finished with this part yet, but um, that'll be fixed. And I didn't use duct tape for this one, but the one I'm going to show you, I am. So, all you're going to need is some duct tape, and then um, a paper clip, and a pencil. And then it will spin just like this. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. So the measurements don't matter too much as long as you have a square. But um, if you want to follow my measurements, I'm going to be doing uh, a three and a half by three and a half square. Then you're just going to flip it over and then cover the back with the other color tape. So then you're just going to go ahead and um, cut any of the excess on the sides. Just be sure that no matter how much you cut, it's still a square. So then what you're going to do is you're just going to fold it over. Just like that. And you're just going to make a crease. And you really want to make sure this is a very sharp and clear crease. And then you just want to do the same thing going this way. And make sure the same thing that the crease is very sharp and clear. So then I just made a mark in the center where the two lines connect, and then I just poked a hole through this um, using my X-Acto knife just like this. So then at every corner, you're just going to cut little slits going about halfway through down to each square. So then you're going to take every other one of these little marks, so this one, this one, and then this one that my thumb is covering and you're going to fold those into the center just like this so that would be every other little corner and then what you're going to do is you're just going to poke a hole through um the corners as well and i'm going to take my paper clip and i'm just going to poke a hole through all of them and i'm actually going to go through the back and I'm not going to lie, this actually did take a little bit of time just to get it through all of the um, corners and uh, making sure it was straight and everything. But it ended up working fine. So then what I did was I actually just took a little bead and I ended up hot gluing it on the end. But if you'd like, you can just take a pair of scissors or, you know, like, any really tool and um, just fold it over but I found that way didn't work as well so then you can either just poke it through the back of the eraser or your pencil and then just make sure that it's not too tight so that this can actually spin so it would be you know about that loose just so there's actually some room for it to spin just like that and then you could bend the back or put a cap on it somehow or whatever or what you can do is you can just take um, the rest of the paper clip, and this is the other one I did, and you can just bend it. And this way was easier for me, but it doesn't really matter. And then I just wrapped it around the pencil just like this. And then I decided to tape it as well just to give it some more secure. And I know that the tape is all wrinkled, but I really don't care. If you do care about this, then you can absolutely straighten it out and fix it and everything like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. 
If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel so you never miss any one of my videos. Thanks for watching. Bye!